Hi and welcome to our demo Security Mode Access, delivered as part of a SASE platform. I am Eyal. In this demo I'm going to show you first how we set up a new VPN user and how we configure it, how we set up the client and connect it to our cloud service, how security is enforced when the client is connected, and how performance is boosted with our built-in web optimization, and lastly I'm going to show you our clientless access. So let's start with creating a new VPN user. In principle, I can pull users from the Active Directory, but in this demo, I want to create a new user manually. I'm clicking the plus button here, setting up the username, work from home, and I'm going to use my own email so we can see the email that is being received immediately after I click OK here. So an invite is now being sent and the user is added to the directory. Let's go and activate the user. So the email just came in. I see the demo account and the username is work from home, which I just configured. And all I have to do now is to click here to activate. I'm being taken to my user portal. I need to type in a new password. This one. And then the password is saved and I'm automatically being routed to the user portal itself. From here I can download the VPN client to any of the available operating systems that we support. You can see there is a long list of Linux distributions as well. And I download the VPN client and I also will download the Kato profile which allows me quick onboarding. Now let's go install the client and connect ourselves. So now let's bring up the Kato client and connect for the first time. So here's the Kato VPN client. Coming up for the first time, it doesn't have any user defined in it. I can either use my corporate identity, which will take me to a single sign-on portal, or I can use Kato login, which is what I'm going to use in this case. Instead of typing all the details here, I can just use the profile file that I just downloaded. Let's put it up. And automatically delete it after use and you can see that now the user is already configured here and all I have to do is to click the connect button the client will find the nearest Kato pop and connect me to the network and here I am connected back to the management application we can see the user connected here in real time clicking on it will give us even more information like the operating system it is using the client and even the ISP it is connecting through and the pop that it is connected now that I'm connected, my user is actually protected by the corporate security stack. We can demonstrate this by browsing to a website that is forbidden to access by the corporate policy. For example, let's go to 888.com. And as you can see, I'm getting an access denied notification because it violates the corporate policy. If I turn off the client, here we go, and try to browse to the same website again, the site would obviously load because the security is not existing. So getting back to our management application, and let's go to our analytics event discovery and see exactly what happened. So you can see that there were a few events that are blocked by the internet firewalls, and if I drill down into them, I can see that my attempt to go into 888.com when the client was connected was indeed blocked by the internet firewall we can see that it was categorized as a gambling application, which we don't allow. You can see my operating system, the user, and even the destination country, which is hosting the web application that I tried to access. So the next cool thing I'm going to show is the power of our built-in WAN optimization. To do this, I'm going to do a file transfer between my laptop here in Tel Aviv and a Windows server that is hosted in AWS US East here. So, before I start, I'm going to reconnect my client. There we go. And in a second, we're going to see it on the map. Here it is. And we're going to see that it's connected to our pop in Tel Aviv. What I'll do now is disable the SMB when optimization rule from here. This would give us the ability to compare the performance with and without it. My network traffic would still go over Kato's private backbone, benefiting from no packet loss, but there will be no acceleration. I'm going to use a cool little app called LAN Speedest 
to measure the throughput between my laptop and the server in Virginia. Bringing it up and let's start the test all the way to the server in Virginia. What this app is doing is it's actually writing a file over SMB to the remote server and then reading it back again. So let's see the results. Writing speed is 8 megabits per second and download speed, which is the most interesting part, is around 7.65 megabits per second. Now let's go and enable the optimization rule. Turning it on, saving the configuration. Now let's bring back the client to the front of the screen and the previous and open another LAN speed test app instance so we can compare the results side by side and start the test again. And now let's look at the download speed with the built-in optimization. Writing is done and reading is five times faster than it was without the optimization. This is the actual user experience improvement that we are providing. The next thing I'm going to show is how great the experience is over our backbone also for other applications like remote desktop protocols. So I'm going to connect to the same server in AWS Virginia. Let's open my remote desktop connection client. This is the IP address. I'm now connecting to it. You see that it is happening very, very fast and the desktop is loading just now. And to make sure that I am indeed in Ashbourne, Virginia, you can go to whatsmyip.com and here you can see that I am indeed in Ashbourne, Virginia. And I can also show you that the same security policy that I had for my VPN client is applied everywhere in the world, even when I'm browsing through a remote desktop protocol, through a remote machine. One last example of how great the network is performing is to run a YouTube video over RDP. You see that it is streaming without any issues, hiccups or breaks or even buffering. There you go. So back to my screen. In my last part of the demo, I want to show you how I can access my corporate application without a client. So I'm going to disconnect the client here. See it's disconnected and I'm going to access my corporate application through a web portal. So I'm going to sign in with my Azure credential. I'm actually using my real credential and not a demo account for this purpose. I'm going to type my password. It's going to request a multi-factor authentication. And now I used my real Azure credentials to authenticate into Kato's production application portal where I can see a long list of applications that I can access over this web browser and without a client installed or connected. One example is Kato's Kibana Flows application. Let's click on it. And there it is loading without me having to install or even connect my VPN client. So this is it. Thank you very much for joining us.